Hi, I'm Craig Edibold from Camp In Travel Trailers. Uh, it's that time of year again, time to winterize your trailer. So today we're going to go over the procedure on how to properly winterize your trailer and prepare it for storage. In order to winterize your trailer, you're going to need a jug of RV antifreeze. You can buy this at hardware stores, auto parts stores, uh, home improvement centers, or at an RV dealership. Okay, to start off, you actually want to put some of the fresh water from the fresh water tank into the gray water tank in order to help rinse it out. So what we're going to do is we, we just turn on the pump. We're going to run the faucet uh, for about so that we get two or three gallons of water into the gray water tank. To help the tanks drain more fully, we're going to crank up the jack on the tongue of the trailer. First we're going to drain the gray water tank. We can remove the cap like normal and open the valve. Now in order to make it drain faster, we can actually remove the valve. So I'm going to shut it off and actually unscrew the valve. And on the fresh water side, we're simply going to remove the drain cap. Make sure that you keep the caps separate so that you don't mix up the gray water and fresh water caps for when you replace them. And now that the tanks are drained, we're going to replace the valve on the gray water tank. Put it on nice and tight and then put the cap back on. And then we're going to put the cap on the fresh water tank also. Okay, now it's time to put the RV antifreeze in. We're going to remove the cap, the water, and we get a funnel. Now I've just made a funnel out of an old soda bottle, and that works just fine for what we're doing. You take the RV antifreeze, and we're going to pour about one half gallon into the tank. Now that we put the RV antifreeze in the tank, we're going to turn on the faucet and we're going to run it until you see it start coming out pink. And then, and then we're going to let it run for about a half a minute with the pink coming out. And we're letting the water drain and this is actually winterizing the gray water tank. The last step is the valve on the side of the trailer. We're going to open slightly until that comes out pink. And that's it. Our trailer is winterized. Uh, we can go ahead and close up the water tank. And it, the water system is now ready for winter storage.